Hi there. Um, I just wanted to put together a little video. We're nearing the end of the course now and for anybody who is attempting or trying to get their work completed for their portfolio um, in order to get their certificate, um, there is one piece of work that is still outstanding. Um, so one of the learning outcomes um, is that we need to be able to print from the internet. Okay. So obviously, if we were in the classroom, that would be very straightforward. Um, you would just send some selected website page to the internet. When we're working from home, it's not as straightforward. So what I want you to do uh, in order to prove to me that you would be able to print on the internet if you had access to a printer is to type up a short document that would describe step by step how to print from the internet. Now I know some of you uh, who are doing other courses, I've asked you to do something similar, but that was printing from Microsoft Word. So I need you to do a step-by-step -step document on how to print from a browser. Okay, so here I've got Google Chrome open. So I'll show you how to do it on Google Chrome and on Internet Explorer. So when you have Google Chrome open and you have a page that you want to print, you click on the three dots up here in the corner. A little pop-up menu appears and you choose print from that. And this is going to launch your print preview page. Okay, so the print preview page lets you see what will be sent to the printer. Okay, and how it's going to look. So while we're waiting for that, page to load there. Let's have a look at the options that are available here. Okay, so there our page has appeared. If I scroll down, I can see that there's eight, nine, 10, 11 pages. Is that okay? 12 actually, 11. Okay, but if I scroll through that, I can see that there's a lot of maybe ads and comments and various things that I don't really need. Okay, so what I really want is on page one. So let's go through the options here. First of all is the destination. So you need to make sure that your printer is selected here as the default destination. If you don't see it listed, click on the arrow and choose it from the list. Okay, then you need to say which pages you want printed. In this particular case, we don't want all the pages as that would be a lot of uh, waste of paper and ink. So we'll do custom. And we'll say, for example, that we just want page one. If we wanted to say the first three pages, we do one dash three. Okay, but for now, we're just going to choose page one. The number of copies is listed here. So if you want just one copy for yourself, you leave that at one. Say you want to print one copy for you and one for a friend, you would change that to two. Your landscape or your layout option. And choose whether you want portrait or landscape and finally color or black and white is that okay so if you have plenty of colored ink choose color if you're running low on colored ink and you want to save it and um, choose black and white so when you're typing up your document you need to talk about all of these options that are available to you is that okay and obviously then once you've chosen all your correct options you click on print to send it to the printer. Now let's have a look at how that would look on Internet Explorer. So I'm just going to cancel out of this. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. And I'm going to see how I would print from Internet Explorer. So I'm going to click here on the tools. Up in the top right hand corner, you've got your tools button. Click on what that. If I hold my mouse over print but not actually click on it, I get another little pop-up that appears here and I choose print preview. Okay, so I have to specifically choose print preview when my browser is Internet Explorer. Okay. It opens up the print preview page. Again, sometimes it can take a little while for it to get all of your pages visible here on screen. Okay, so while I'm waiting for it to do that, I'll just explain some of the options up here. So you've got 
uh, whether you want portrait layout or whether you want landscape layout. Okay, down here I can see how many pages there are. Okay, so it's telling me that there's, I'm on page one of eight. And while it's not yet visible, oh, there it is, that's page one there on screen. I can scroll through and see what's on each of the other pages. Okay, so again, what I really want is only on page one. So I'll go back up here. You can see your little printer icon up on the top left hand corner. I need to click on that and this is where my options appear. So again, select printer. So you need to be aware that there are a number of print options, but that you have got your printer selected there as default. Is that okay? Down here, you've got your number of copies. So again, you want one copy, two copy, three copies, and so on. You just leave it at one. And finally, you choose whether you want all eight pages, whether you just want the current page, so the screen, the page that's currently visible on the screen, or whether you want a particular page range. So if you want a page one, two, three, or also you can go page one, comma, five, comma, seven, and so on. So that would print pages one, five, and seven. Okay. And then once you're happy that you have got all of your options selected that suit your needs, you click on print. Okay, I'm just going to cancel for now. So basically, I need you to type up a document. And that document should contain a step-by-step -step explanation of how you would print from your chosen browser. So you can choose how to print from Google Chrome and do a step-by-step -step description of that, or a step-by-step -step description of how you would print from Internet 